uh, we have, we're going to start with, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, is that, uh, I always have troubles, <laughs> Dan, I'm going to say Dan, but that's not right. Yeah, Don. 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 That makes more sense. Uh, we have Don Compens here on our left, flying the Separatist. And we have Zam Wessel in the Fire Spray um, with Treacherous, Count Dooku, Thermal Detonators, Rigged Cargo Shoot, and a Hull Upgrade. Uh, also with him, General Grievous with uh, Treacherous, Impervium Plating, and the Soulless One. And Brewer Cret with Predator and Treacherous. So I'll... Uh, we're going to have, hopefully, uh, some time later on to break down exactly what Treacherous does. But basically, it's a defensive ability uh, against uh, swarms. And you can even use it on your own friendlies. Uh, we don't see any ensnare on Brewer Cret, but he does have uh, one of the rarely seen Nantex uh but he is I-5, and his ability reads, after you perform an attack that hits each friendly ship with a calculate on its action bar and a lock on the defender may perform a red calculate action. Unfortunately, nobody on his team has a calculate action, so he's basically I-5. Mm -hmm. So as the, so the pinpoint tractor, the three dice bullseye gun uh, with Predator and the defensive deck of Treacherous, so... We'll see if he can leverage that um, high initiative against a very thematic matchup here. Uh, Jedi Knights. Now, I get I, through these lists quick. Yeah, so is that yeah, these Jedi Knights are awesome. Sorry, did you did you finish up there, Will? No, I need to uh, let's go quickly over the Jedi Knights here before yes. we get too far into combat. Uh, the Jedi Knights, uh, three of them here. With the 7B title, allowing them to have a 3 attack dice primary and ends up having 6 health overall on 2 agility. Got 3 of them. And then R2-D2 in the Y-Wing here with an Ion Turret and Ayla Secura. Uh, we'll see if Ayla Secura, if we can ever read the text on Ayla Secura when the ability triggers. <laughs> uh, for the most part, you can just think that's Focus Link Coordinate. Uh, with Stressless, very good. And we're into shots right away after the fast maneuvers from the Jedi. Yeah, I mean they they hit the gas here. So I would I, can can you guys please clap dice cam a, a, a on for the first shot. One <laughs> hit. Spend the focus for two. And here we go. We got three defense dice from range three, and we are getting damage right off the bat. First shield down. Mm -hmm. Uses the force there. Gonna trigger Zam's secret condition card. You should thank me. Uh, which says after Zam defense, you can, they can recover a charge and then acquire a lock on the attacker. All right, second shot coming in. So Jacob did not waste any time. Five straight boosts because he knew he knew that Django wasn't gonna be. You know, going yeah. straight straight at him. So he, he's like, no. you know what? If I could get some shots, great. And he's going to get another shield. Recovers another charge there. Has the option to move the target lock, but does not have to. Looks like there is a bit of a pause. There might be a question. I think the, the question that a lot of people get uh, that ask on that one, the second paragraph on there says, after you defend, Zam Wessel recovers a charge, period. And then it says, then you may acquire a lock on the attacker. So you don't have to take the lock, which means he can keep the lock from previous and still recover the charge. So now, now the uh, Zam is, is fully charged out there. You got... The potential for two turns in a row getting some bonus attacks because it does require you to spend both. Now, uh, I will say one thing about the um, the matchup here. Um, looking at Dan's list, a list very similar to Dan's made it, I was been informed, uh, made it to the top table of the, uh, of the Swedish event that was going on this weekend, uh, basically opposite of us. 
And uh, yeah, so you know this this archetype, you know Zam, Zam Brewer Grievous, uh, you know something very interesting to to watch out for in the hyperspace meta, especially the the idea of bringing a lower initiative Anantex and still using the tools that they have available, which are still really good. Yeah, this isn't even the the same instance of uh, the kind of uh, sync. Uh, Ensnareless Nantex, Grievous, and Fire Spray. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, uh, we've seen it with uh, people trying to put Tri Fighters in there as that third slot instead of the Nantex, right? Because um, I, I do think the like, a single Fire Spray and Grievous are gr uh, good enough ships to kind of carry a team. Um, but we'll see what Brewer Cret can do. I mean, he's got uh, the high initiative, uh, the automatic. Uh, repositionings from the pinpoint tractor array uh, turret <laughs> uh, like mo heavily modified attack dice if he needs to be so uh, I'm excited to see it and here is R2 scooting up probably gonna get that Ayla ability yep focus coordinate it's really good And there it is. Focus. Coordinate. Now has to decide where he wants to coordinate. He knows that he's got two ships that could scoop up a target lock right now onto, uh, onto Zam if need be. Or could just take a focus and uh, you know save the action for something else. All right. Zooming up. Two straight. Maybe takes a lock yeah, on his own. What do you think? As these Aether Sprites have to spend their force to do repositions, mm -hmm. uh, being able to let them reposition and have a focus and have their force is very uh, good. It looks like they're just taking some target locks, though. Hmm. A little aggressive there with the Jedi Knight. Yeah, maybe should have coordinated that one. Still can use uh, fine two controls. Let's read through exactly what fine two control says while they're rolling for strain. And roll the hit, so it gets the strain. Fine two controls on the answer sprite says after you fully execute a maneuver, you can spend your force charge uh, to perform a boost or barrel action. Because that's not in the perform action step, uh, the Jedi Knight would be allowed to do it on the gas clowns. Mm -hmm. uh, been very powerful ever since they released together. And Grievous is coming in. Does that link to action boost focus? Trying to get into range to help Zam out. I know in the opening, man, in the opening, when you take shields early, it it feels bad. There's a little bit of worrying out there that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's that's classic ace play though, right? Like the bait. The bait and switch. Right. Yeah, and Jacob took took the bait hard. Uh, but mm -hmm. knew, knew how fast his Jedi were and were able to catch Zam in the corner. That's Had right. Zam not boosted, if he just stayed in the corner there, it would have been a, uh, much easier to trap him. So Zam still at range three of at least one, I think two. Maybe even all three at the moment. I'm really surprised yeah. we didn't get the the force reposition on uh, on the red one. I mean, he's got gas cloud coverage and can just be coordinated next round. A little bear that. roll. But I mean, I kind of I kind of look at it as saving yourself an action next turn, right? Because then you don't have to fly through it now. No, but uh, R two D two coordinates before they move. Because R two D two is I two. Right, right. But I'm saying you still end up netting yourself a saved action, because you 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 barrel roll now. Of course, if he doesn't take damage here, then if the gas cloud helps him not take damage, then then whatevs. Yeah, I would, I would say gas cloud and force for just to save on some health. Oh, super natties. So, um, 
Yeah, so I was just saying, if you had barrel rolled next turn, he could end up using the coordinate for a more useful action on someone else, or maybe even um, getting yellow outside of the uh, outside of the cloud. But here we go, second shot coming in, Grievous, one crit, spend the focus for two, getting aggressive early, and taking hit crit right off the bat. Let's take two shields off of the green. There is a another die. That's for the range got, bonus there. Got it. But still ended up a blank. So what happens when you forget, man? You forget that extra die. The dice gods, they're not. They don't get too happy with you. <laughs> Yellow seems to be out of range. And the Jedi Knight should have two shots. I'm assuming we're gonna continue on to Zam, but we'll see where the Tiger priority is. Zam right now rolls four dice, yeah. right? Yeah, I'd go with the Zam here. Brew has got the focus token. Maybe you'd be able to get some focus fire. All right. Has the force available for two? And going to be get, gonna get three with a cloud. That's right. You take it. It's a may, <laughs> but in my heart, it's always a must. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see, did green shoot then? Yep, and this oh. likely will trigger, which one is it? You better mean business is what I'm assuming. Yep, yeah, you better yeah, mean so this business. Is what, this is why I think he was hiding behind the gas cloud for. Well, so uh, Zam denied the bonus attack, uh, but no one else is in range though. So this is going at Brewer Cret, only one hit. And safe. So, yeah, interesting call there. You know, decides not to use the bonus attack Darn. on Zam, right? Because you don't want to end up wasting it. Yeah, I, I think that was actually a really smart play by mm -hmm. Jacob there to hide the one who he thought was going to get attacked twice behind the gas cloud. It all works out sometimes. <laughs> it did. Yeah, because I think if he would not have had cloud coverage, Dan probably just says, "Hey, you know what? Let's take it." Yeah, it's like you were saying, like barrel off of it, like right now. Mm -hmm. Well, then you might be in range and getting two attacks from Zam. Not, not a good situation. But uh, the separatists come in here, do a little bit of damage of their own, even things up for a bit. We'll see if Grievous... Now, Grievous does have limited blue maneuvers. I think just uh, two forward, three forward, and two bank. Yep. So which which of those maneuvers is, is, is he going to do? You yeah, assume I'm... he's going to clear the stress. Yeah, you do. Like, I... There is a situation here where those Jedi can 100% crash onto Grievous, though. You coordinate that barrel roll off the cloud on, uh, on red, and then you hook... The uh, you hook red around the cloud going to the right, you're banking with green and yellow, and you could have three range one shots if you want them on uh, on Grievous. Now, of course, that could be the bait right now because Grievous is is literally known for running away, so <laughs> so we we yeah. could uh, we could be disappointed here if uh, if he ends up bailing out pretty hard. Well, actually, uh. Zam's not in the best spot either to get shots with that rear arc. This is going coming up to the towards the corner. Fire sprays hate the corner because they reveal their kind of empty hourglass mm -hmm. to the side. Now, one thing I saw a player talking about yesterday with talking about Grievous, uh, there I think it was Adam Kempers was talking about it. You have to be willing with Grievous to take white maneuvers while stressed if you're going to be using the linked actions. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, he does get offensive modifiers if you're behind your opponents. Mm -hmm. So that's essentially like him taking a target lock. So that, that makes sense to me. A lot of people were trying like daredevil on him, And even then it's still not great. Cause that's, that ends up being your action all the time. Mm-hmm.
All right, looks like we're getting a Zam card chosen. Ooh, and some thermal detonators. I was wondering if we would see some of these, but I didn't know if they would hinder Brewer Crep. Mm, you're right. Those Nantex do only have four health left. I mean, if Jacob saw it and he, you know, ends up going slow, it's always great I, if you can bait I out think, those bombs early. Yeah, I think Brewer Crep's with that bomb chop is going to be shooting five forward then. Okay, we did get that barrel roll coordinated to the left. And just a casual one bank. I think he's got I think he's outside of the bomb. I do like the heads up play here from Dan though. Being conservative, only using a single thermal detonator, the uh the two straight one, because you have the best chance of actually hitting with that. And as you can see, these Jedis are not interested in uh, getting hit by those bombs. So it's going to be a quote-unquote wasted bomb, but at least he didn't end up you know, using two of his charges. Yep, and the Yellow Knight. Mm -hmm. Now we, we just have a Rage Cargo shoot on there. We haven't really seen too much of the Separatist Fire Spray with it. I kind of look at that as, you know, if you have you have both uh, or all your bombs gone, that's like your fifth bomb almost. It's trying much. to avoid people from getting behind you. All right. I agree with Stitch. Had the two bank there to clear the stress, and we'll just bump right into green. Now Brewer well, has some a... decisions to make here. Yeah. <laughs> Has, has the bullseye lined up, but is now also in range one, two arcs of the two people who locked him. Now, without ensnare, you can't pass off the tractor token when you rotate your arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is that but is just we, I am tractor. Oh, you only can, use that tractor can, to get out of uh, to get out of arcs. Right. Yeah, we see confidence kind of. Uh, a little frantic with his uh, hand maneuvers there. It's always funny to watch. Just keep a check of people's uh, TTS hands. Oh, man. And he's going to end up taking his own bomb there, Will. I know. Uh, I, think Brewer, I, I think we lose Brewer this turn. I'm starting to feel it. Yeah, we'll see with that. I mean, it could be nothing. Uh, so what happens with Thermal Denners is you can roll a die. Uh, blank is nothing. Eyeball is stress. Uh, hits are hits and crits are... Face up damage cards. Oh, no. There it is. What's in the box? It's a fuel leak. If he suffers another crit at some point, that gives him an additional damage. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, Zam was able to uh, do that town roll and get a shot on the green Jedi Knight. I mean that's good. You don't you you want Zam to try to contribute this turn, not be completely out of the fight. Exactly. Got two. Did he Dooku a crit? Yeah, he did. Smart. That Jedi takes only one, but that is going to be half points on the green Jedi. Here comes Bruce. Right, Bruce going to go out going to go out shooting. That's right. I will take you down with me. Oh, decisions, decisions. Predator. He probably leaves. Oh, full violence. Yeah, Check this guy out. Violence. He's confident he's, that he's going to die. But you know what? He's like, I, I'm, I'm going to take you with me, baby. There it is. Now the Jedi's got to spend his force or not. He, he does. Yep. Spending the force makes it so that he ends up not taking half damage. But yellow still potentially could end up giving up half right here with Grievous having a shot and gets the full Ooh. string. Hit, hit, crit. Oh, and they're all going through. Man, so good, good thing that he ended up spending the focus early, or the force early. Otherwise, he would be dead. We'll see if he lives. It is a disabled power regulator. We are pop popping this morning. Round one of today. Yes, we are getting damage dealt. 
Now Jedi, the the revenge I mean, of the Jedi. Here we go. I mean, if you're trading Brewer for one and a half uh, Jedi Knights, that's a good trade. Spend the force for four there. Yep. Yeah, that's unfortunately if Brewer only gets taken out in one shot here with that fuel leak, and there he goes. Got him. Got him. This so hit hit crit. This trade damage. is yeah. This trade is going to be interesting. If you can do damage under Grievous, this obviously starts to tilt Jacob's way. Brewer Cret down. Yeah. Score right now fifty forty one. R two D two does have that ion cannon turret facing towards Grievous as well. I'll be interested to see if that is range two or three. So close. Uh, this is that Jedi Knight with a disabled power regular shooting Ooh. range two. Disable power hit. regulator, but those weapons are working. <laughs> weapons are working. Takes hit crit. Yeah, let's do let's grieves the shields. Uh does have the soulless one to get some extra hull on there. Uh to make it five total plus the impervium plating where he can discard ship uh face up ship damage cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was end up ended up being range three for the ion cannon. Sorry, two D two is just shooting the two dice primary of the Y wing. Yep. It will be obstructed. One hit. Grievous has four because of the rock and range, and is safe. Grievous is just or and one of these. Soulless one or impervium plating bellabubs are definitely the ones you don't want to be rolling crits. It's very rare where you're like, oh no, crits. <laughs> right. And I'm surprised we didn't see I'm surprised we didn't see a treacherous trigger there. It says while you defend, you may choose a ship obstructing the attack and spend one charge. If you do cancel one hit or crit result, and the ship you choose gains one strain. Uh, that was oh on Brewer Cret uh, that would I could have saved them potentially right or not even it wouldn't have no. saved them but he would have at least given uh, a strain no, uh, out I'm, there. No, I'm talking Grievous could have strained Jedi Knight three when the the yellow Jedi Knight shot Grievous. He had the the treacherous opportunity available. Oh, you right, you right. Yeah, he definitely was obstructing it. Like that, that's where uh, treacherous is hard to find. Or it's hard to define when that card's going to trigger, but things like people blocking you in the front, uh, that's going to obstruct shots onto you. Um, things in formation as well, where the back row is shooting through the front row of people. And then, uh, obviously, you could do it with your own ships as well. If you have like a blocker, like a brewer would have came in and, and blocked the, or just, I guess, not blocked, but ran into, came in contact with the attacker. Uh, you could then treacherous on Brewer Cret as well. So, I think that was uh, a, a small misplay, but it is, you know, an intense game here early in the morning. Uh, the top 32 of the Sigma right. uh, qualifier. Not championship yet. Just not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this round is brought to you by Curl Park Creatives. Remember, use that coupon code SIGMA2021. Get your acrylic on. Uh, and if you haven't yet, if you haven't picked up your official, yes, it is official, Gold Squadron Podcast LED lamps. What are you doing? Show show that GSP pride. I've already gotten a couple of pictures of people showing it off on their desk or on shelves. Uh, I have a couple of them come in for the set or one of the sets. Um, and and looking looking forward to uh, they they look amazing. So thank you to everybody who has picked those up. And if you haven't gotten it, get yours now for twenty one percent off. Do they make a Dion lamp with a picture of your face? Not yet. <laughs> I I haven't gotten Andrew to do that yet. There was some questions in the. Twitch chat asking about uh, how do you know if a ship is obstructing the shot? Um, 
Well, I mean, it shows you the closest to closest line. That would be what you follow. Now, remember, it is. it doesn't say in TTS in the chat, like, is being obstructed by this certain ship. It only does that for obstacles because obstacles are a must, right? Like, that's not the uh, – you got to know if that's obstructed or not. When it comes to the trigger of something like Treacherous or – what's that What's that? That modification that nobody uses that you can – Force a ship to, to uh, it, when you're obstructing the shot, your your buddies get uh, get an obstruction bonus. There's a name for that. Uh, tactical, tactical jammer. scrambler. Yeah, or jam scrambler or jammer. I don't know. You're right. Nobody does use that anymore because it's awkward. Yeah, that's really what it comes down to. Well, it's not hyperspace legal as well, but. Uh, that is, yeah, Tactical Scrambler. While you obstruct an enemy's attack, the defender rolls an additional defense die, medium or large only. All right. Well, <laughs> R2-D2, coming in here. Doing what he do. Now, Doing like action, beep, beast. poop. He's, uh, flying in the back as well, really just kind of covering uh, the flanks. Now, this early turn into the middle of the board does make it so that the ion cannon is pointed in the opposite direction of the of the action, but at least you do have a front arc gun. But likely if Grievous bugs out to your screen left, we're not going to see R2-D2 have a shot. No, but I think these Jedi Knights are going to make it a point for not, to not let Grievous get away. They will try. <laughs> so we're thinking on the coordinate I believe yeah we're just thinking on the coordinate for a second double checking the options here because uh, you can coordinate yellow because it is high ionized well you can but it's going to get a focus token when it activates uh, and does the ion one forward what about a target lock you can't target lock because you can only take focus actions so I'm trying no, to no 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 to green to green sorry oh yeah yeah um, I think uh, that would be a good idea if it's Lupin, especially. Mm -hmm. The anticipation's getting me. That's fine. <laughs> Waiting to find show out what us, the coordinate show is. Show us the coordinate. <laughs> you got so many options. I mean, you do. And I think did double... he have range two to? I think he's got range to two red? to everybody. Yeah. All right. So it does end up moving the lock here. Or green. And nice. there's a sloop to do. It's so it's really difficult though to grab uh, to catch those bellababs. They can be pretty fast. Don't they do they have a five straight? I thought they did. Yeah, yeah he could just five straight right here and say, Nope. Solo Swan title activated. But kinda needs to stay in the fight though. They need to they need to finish off this. Uh, yellow Knight. I guess Sam could probably do it, but you need to... Like, just one of these isn't enough. You need to take down the other uh, green Jedi Knight as well. You could probably fight RTD too, right? Like, no big deal. Oh, yeah. The Red Knight does take a target lock there, and... Oh, he made it! He made it! Ooh. That is not a bump! Uh, we're gonna see a barrel roll here, I assume. Oh, he's does he have the space? That gas clown? I don't know. It's gonna be close. I think, mm, man, they they have to get they have to complete the barrel roll as well before you link it into the focus. Yeah, the bell balam. I think he's got it. He could also boost. He's got it. Yeah, boost to the right is not a bad idea either. It just it puts you in a little bit of an awkward position for next turn. I think is a problem. Both of them do. I think maybe boosting yeah, over the top is better. One. There it is. Right. Went with the more guaranteed boost there. The barrel would have been nice, but then you're in front of a gas cloud. Yeah, other problems at that point. We're in Zame here. Zam, I think he's going to get some uncontested shots. Surprise just took uh, the focus. Like if, you, if you're going to do a crit, 
you might as well take the the focus token then so you can convert the blank mm -hmm. call out dooku it doesn't matter didn't matter full string hit crit jedi knight down And that slides things a little bit more towards Dan. Mm -hmm. That Brewer Crit's pretty affordable at only 41 points. So willing willing to trade it for a Jedi Knight easy. And as you can see, Jacob's got no shots except for R2-D2 barely holding on to range 3 with a primary that's going to be a two-on-three shot. He could and also Red opt to not take it. Red didn't have range on Grievous? Oh, duh. Uh, do you, Grievous is behind him. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, it's because of the bonus attack yeah. here. Hesitating on the primary. And not going to get anything out of that. No, he's got, a, he's got the Ayla focus. Not gonna get anything out of that. <laughs> <laughs> there, let's see what that let's see what that Zam card was. What do we got? Bonus attack. You better mean business. When you shoot at me, you better mean business, because I'm gonna Here. shoot you back. Here it is. So this is a Dooku crit. Nope, no so. Dooku trigger here. Yeah, there's there's a rules question for a chat. Uh, Dooku versus Plated Hull. Is Dooku, is Plated Hull first or is Dooku first? Plated Hull. Oh, uh, it would be Dooku. Uh, no, something, uh, Dooku ends up winning that. So the modifier, the modifier for the Y wing happens for the defender first. And then the uh, the attacker then modifies. Dooku? Yeah. Because is it, is Dooku's a mod, isn't it? Oh, you correct. But like, also C three PO is a mod though too. Also, I was double checking that. Uh, you have to announce Dooku before the roll, but it still triggers in your modify dice step. Uh, let's see. Mega Silver saying Dooku works out of the normal order. I know this is what this is the question here. Chat's exploding. Um, all right, so we got we got Maori Mike in it. The chat says, "Duku is a mod, but it happens after the roll and before the dice mods per FAQ. So it would go then Duku crit, plated hull back to hit, and then whatever other attack modifiers. I believe was that right, Maui? First time caller. I think it depends on the phase of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's first player? What phase of the moon is it? And what's their astrological sign? Scorpions or Scorpio is always last. <laughs> so something kind of random here. One thing I've been, uh, you know, be being a GSP. Sometimes I gotta I gotta abuse my power like just a little bit, but not for my gain. In the end, it ends up being for your guys' gain. All right. Uh, do we have any in the community any Chicago land, Chicago land, low voltage, or just normal electricians? All right, low voltage technicians or electricians. I'm gonna tell you, man. I have been stood up. So many times when it comes to phone calls and appointments, I'm getting sick of it, and I'm trying to get stuff done for the studio. And I, 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 I oh, I got more emails today of being like, uh, "We can't service your area because you're too close to the city." Lebo, I called one of your boys and they didn't call me back, man. I called them and they didn't call me back. I'm 
and trades are so overbooked they can't keep up. That's what that's what I'm trying to fl- I'm that's what I'm trying to flex the the GSP muscle to see if I can get somebody who's in the nation, all right? Somebody who's in the nation be like, "Oh, Dion, I got you." Just YouTube it. Uh, I mean, I honestly I probably could do it, all right? Um, but the problem is time. It's the time. I need some Cat 6 running the studio. Cat 6, some outlets changed out. Outlets added in a couple places. But anyway... You need an intern. <laughs> I don't know if you can get an electrician intern. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got some maneuvers here from. I didn't, I missed the coordinate. Oh, it looks like we moved uh, the other lock over. Jedi Knight one's lock over to Grievous. And the Green Knight. Jack B3K. Hit me up. All right, so that was fine tune control of some green and then ends up taking a focus action. And we got Grievous here. Had limited positional uh, choices, either pretty much sloop or hard one to stay in the fight. I believe has a shot right now, but it's also sitting in range one of a Jedi Knight. Mm-hmm. We are 100% in the scrum. Yeah. I don't mind that position where he's at. He's going to get Solus 1 on the bigger, bigger attack. He's not in the Ion Arc. Zam's going to come in here and threaten even more. Yeah, Zam. What are you doing? Uh, Zam was able to charge up uh, some of their pilot abilities charges early, so it has another bonus attack ready and available. Mm -hmm. Those early those early shots charge that up all the way to four. That means you have two turns where you can slap down that you better mean business. Mm -hmm. Now in this instance, though, all of the Jedi's and R2 can shoot at General Grievous. So you're still betting on his one card's the bonus attack if you are shot at, and the other bonus attack is if no one shoots at you. This is very true. The you can thank me. Um, I I have found you, you, you're right. I have found though that most of the time when people have those charges full, they're just slapping down. You better mean business. Um, it, it's it is that like next level play. If you can time that when you know you're going to be an arc, because the reality is That's that those true. fire sprays are expensive. Why are you not? You need to shoot at them to win the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zam throwing some hot fire. Okay. Spent the force. Oh, it's going into R2. I was able to change the the crit down there. All right, this is Grievous shooting at green. You can put two through. All right, here we go. Range one. No risk of being shot here because that arc is not looking at you. Looking for big dice. Mm -hmm. There's no lock out there, right? So spend the focus for hit, hit, crit. 
You know you're getting one. Can we get a little extra? Shields down on Zam. All right, real quick here, Will. We need to do a public service announcement. A public service announcement. Evil Monkey Lord asks: Is there a new official app which actually works? Number one, you should not be using the official app. Range one shot here. Hit crit. Oh no, we got crits. Reroll the crit. No. Oh, uh, there's potential for two of those to be just thrown in the garbage. Yep, he's good. Take the single hit first. So let's get the single hit. He's gonna solo this one reroll first. All right, didn't help. And then he's gonna take a hit, and we're gonna see what these crits are. That's right. First ones. Direct hit. Uh, direct hit. Goes in the garbage. Doesn't happen. Yep. Impervium plating. You've Ooh, been plated. Two damage from that impervium plating. Goodbye. All right, there's the second crit. And it's weapons failure, skip. just like Goodbye. Nah. Nah, nah, fam. <laughs> I know, I know, it's rare, but that's a situation where you roll a crit naturally. You go, you know what? I reconsider that card. <laughs> I reconsider that. Now, of course, if you roll crits now, impervium plating doesn't do anything anymore because the two charges have been used up. But man, it feels bad because you did take up a range one shot that looked nasty. And ended up hitting like a wet noodle. You'd... Yeah, shrugged off just three extra damage there. Wow. Yeah, it looks like we have R2-D2 going into uh, Grievous. Uh, when Green Chat at Zam did reveal the but you better mean business. So all the other attacks are going into Grievous to avoid the bonus. Now look like one hit, one evade. Grievous gets out of there with his points, with all of his points. Yep, four of seven. <laughs> Perfume is better than two upgrades and only costs four points. Must be a CIS upgrade. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it can They're potentially really... it can potentially be yeah, better than I two whole upgrades. Yeah, or it could be four points for nothing if you died to a bunch of hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also another treacherous trigger there, though, too, uh, because RTD2 shot. Well, no damage was dealt on that attack, though. Mm -hmm. Now, I did get a couple messages. People asking me about uh, prizes for today. Are there more? Are there more more stream prizes, Dion? And uh, I I have some, but to be I was talking about it yesterday. My like top prizes, my best like ships and stuff like that. I am running real low, so I am uh, I'm having to what's the word? Um, outsource? Word? Not outsource. No, 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 no. Like stretch them. Um, oh, okay. Be conservative, frugal. Yeah. Frugal. There's there's another there's a word. Vocabulary. Help me. <laughs> ration? Ration. There it is. I have to ration them. Yes. Like I got some stuff. I got some stuff, but not not I got nothing crazy. I got nothing crazy, okay? Yeah, Don. If only had a way to get more ships painted. Paint war this soon. So, <laughs> <laughs> so soon. So soon. Like I have some. Uh, like I got, I got plans for for galaxies as well. Like it's just, you know, life life stuff things. All the things get in the way. We won't be all right, though. All right. All right. Well, uh, Don Campens, uh pretty firmly in the lead here, was able to uh, deny a lot of damage onto Grievous there. And with that green Jedi Knight to just one health, Zam... 
is uh, in a prime position to kill it next round. Plus, we got thermal detonators as well. That's right. Do you think that it would be worth it? Do you think Red's head in that direction? Because mm. you assume RTD2 is either going to just self bump or bank out. Really, your only options there. Well, what if now, you what what if you bank you bank out, or even hard turn? Do the coordinate to something like the Jedi Knight Red. Jedi Knight Red barrel rolls to the left and sloops. So now you're no longer, you're not in danger for the thermal detonators, and you probably end up turning that arc at Zam. Yeah, that's fair. Coordinate party, but you, baby. But but you really need R two D two to contribute here, though. Uh, I mean, you probably unless you got some master plan, you probably need to just write off the one health uh, green knight. Either Grievous or Zam can find Ark on him. So we'll see if we'll see if he's got some sort of master plan to keep that alive. Uh, Zam's in a great spot, right? Three bank, pretty much. Uh, three bank left and right. Could even go forward. Who might not be able to go uh, like a four forward? There's a rock right in his way, or third way, whatever. I'm still waiting on a treacherous trigger. The whole list brought it, so you can't forget it. <laughs> or you can. <laughs> Apparently. I, it's, a, it's a flex. It, I don't need this to win. <laughs> I guess. But it comes back, though. Like It comes back when shifts die. Or it went for the 5K. He did, Wait, did Zam not drop the bombs? No, no, Grievous is back there. You don't want to be messing around with that. But Grievous but can get team... out. Grievous can run nah. away. Grievous is slooping. So that was R2-D2 trying to K-turn as well. Uh, also, and then oh, the that angle. Jedi Knight tried to, try to K-turn. So that that really messes up. They took a big gamble there with the, the K-turns, and it did not pay off. Ooh, baby. Okay. Uh, Cat... Cadabri, we put nice logos in the bottom left. This is the top 32. I think that was a, this is the top 32. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> All right, here All we right. go. Going at R2-D2. One crit. Has a force available as a modifier. Oh, you got a lock. Use it. Mm hmm Picked up from Zam's ability. Easy. Woo. Hit crit goes yeah, we should through. Have seen a plated hole there on one of them, so it should be hit hit crit. It should be, you're right. Cause that was a naturally rolled one, correct? Correct. There it is. Defenders normally modify first. Boy, is that still five, though? I think it's he dead did. either way. He did. Do they only have two health before? No, they had three health. Grievous. Oh, he's dead now. Off the board. You can use that ability to reroll two when you're outside of the attacker or the defender's firing arc. Pop, pop. Let's get them in the chat. All right, the Jedi Knight ends up dying as well. Grievous. One Jedi Knight versus Jedi the might. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, Zam Zam's almost halved. Uh, Grievous is almost halved. So there's a lot of points to score, but you're gonna have to let's do some real math calculations here. Zam's a perfect hundred. Mm -hmm. That Jedi Knight's forty nine with a bid. 
but um but not a, str- not a stronger bid yeah not a stronger bid yeah. though so yeah that jedi knight's looking at pretty much full destruction right now little jedi knight that could come on i mean it's got time to do it 24 minutes right <laughs> Every master started as a Padawan. Every Padawan turns into a knight. All right? You know, it's it's just he's on his way to becoming a great Jedi. <laughs> PC Chapel. No. Not every Padawan. <laughs> <laughs> we do not grant you the rank of master. And there is the thermal detonator saying, hey, just in case that Jedi Knight tries to do something crazy and hit on the gas. All right. So pick, picked up a lock there. Mm -hmm. I like that. If you are if you are gonna win, you're gonna need to fight these two individually. Mm -hmm. Don't let them regroup together. Yeah, he would have to. Oh man, yeah, the the points. Essentially, you gotta kill Zan. Uh, you gotta kill Zam and, a ha and half a Grievous. Or, if you kill Grievous, then you gotta kill all of Zam. That's actually really funny how that works. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, either way, not great. <laughs> yeah, because that half Zam sitting at 53 points, that's more than you are. Uh huh. Well, you might as well take out Grievous as soon as you can. Can't be messing around with two ships. Yeah, getting Grievous off the board is just a is, is a I have less things shooting at me, even though it doesn't necessarily, you know, it doesn't put me. I end up being still two steps away from getting the W. It still mm -hmm. it prevents shots from coming at you, which uh, which helps. <laughs> well, here's here's a tip. You're gonna have to factor in that you're gonna lose those three shields at some point in time. Yep, you're right. So you, might, you might as well just consider yourself um, ha halved already. <laughs> I am already halved. I promise you I am. Can we see the Rebel Y-Wings if they make it past this round? Rebel Y-Wings? Is there a Y-Wing swarm out there, oh, Jonah? Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> yes, I believe so. What? And we need a Rebel matchup. So as long as it wins, it's a good yeah. good contender to play on stream. Yeah, that's uh, a group of Gray Squadron Bombers. Not gold squadron. Didn't spend the the premium points to be the gold squadron bombers. It's true. Not everybody gets to be gold. I know they it wasn't. Didn't gold used to be the the bottom barrel before? It, it was. Yeah. They changed it. They're like, you know what, GSP. You yeah, yeah we we, we did ones. it. It was us. <laughs> <laughs> Hit crit. They were redesigning second edition and said, let's give them some props here. Oh, man. So hit crit. Both of those going through. Oh, did I misread that? Oh, uh, yeah. He, he took two damage from that. Going to spend the lock and the force for all three. Give us the focus, so I didn't roll it. This is going to take one crit. No more impervium plating. What do we get? Wounded pilot. Wounded I pilot. Form an action, roll an attack die, and a hit a crit. Gain one stress token. 
Isophane asking, do I have any spare other spare rare convention ships? I think I'm think I'm out of them. And I'm saying I think because I need to do an inventory in preparation for for moving day, which is not for probably a couple weeks. But uh getting the new inventory and shipping room ready. Everything's kind of in uh, in shambles right now. So I I don't know I I know where my painted chips are. Those I haven't moved, which is why I know I have four left. <laughs> four left <laughs> for for the flight club to get done. I have some others on the way uh to to fill time and uh and then paint wars and then we'll be good again cuz I I'll have at minimum, 30 ships ready to give away. I had somebody, Will, I had somebody ask me, Dion, what if they paint it and it's, you know, it turns out really, really bad? What would you do? Would you still give it away? I go, huh. I didn't even think of that. Because everybody, Jonah, everybody we picked was, was, uh, was quite skilled. So like I I don't think there would be anybody who would, who would uh who would who would warrant not being given away. Yeah, everybody's pretty high caliber and uh I can tell just from seeing emails like our contestants really care about this. Uh mm -hmm. they're they're not just slapping paint on and being like, "Well, you know, whatever happens, like they care and I think they they want to make some good ships for you guys." Mhm. Mm That's right. Like I had somebody give a suggestion, say, Dion, you should take like the worship of the three and uh, and put it like dump it in a bucket of simple green like on camera. I'm like, no, no, I, I don't They're like 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 you lose your ship gets destroyed type of uh, type of idea. I'm like, that sounds like good TV. But I, I, I also paid somebody to do this. I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> You know, it's it's essentially a hundred dollar paint job, right? Uh, because of the you know the stipend and stuff. But here we go. We got a wounded pilot trigger. No stress there. Three straight, and setting up that lock. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see a, a Dooku trigger here on defense for this Jedi Knight. No, oh, got yeah, in. Like right now. There it is. There's a Dooku trigger. Calls out a blank. Blank. He does not. He did not call oh. the blank. Oh nope, no, there there he is. sure yep. did. Yep. Uh, th so the you do get to choose which die is going to be blanked when you are Dooku'd. So it chose the the least impactful one there to save the focus. Beavis has has his own focus if he wants it. No, it's just gonna leave it. Yeah, for defense. It's only got three hole left. Only one. Able to convert for the evade. He spent both the force. Oh, because he, he repositioned, I believe, with the force. That's what they Yeah, he bear rolled. So he spent the focus there to not take the crit. Shoots for a hit. Hit and two blanks. And one Goes squeaks through. through. That focus not and ended up not mattering. That always feels terrible. Every time you have a wasted mod where you had an opportunity mm -hmm. to use it earlier, man, I hate I hate that when that happens. <laughs> That's why you just gotta go full aggression. Spend it spend it the moment you see the die. But what if, Will? But what, what if? if? Oh, whatever. What? What? On two. Here, here's some math. real easy math for you. Uh, saving your focus token for defense, uh, your the least likely roll is two eyeball results on on two dice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess full eyeball results is the le the least likely result on every defensive roll because mm -hmm. it's the rarest side of that die. So. I wouldn't even bother. So many, so many times I've uh, on hawks and X wings, I've just had focus tokens sitting around. Mm 
X Pav in the chat says, I think Dion should see off losers with, I'm sorry, your paint did not stay on target. Here's the problem. I like that, but Gordon, my 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 one of my amazing friends, Gordon of the Stay on Target podcast, would never let me live that down. Ever. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. If you know Gordon, you know what I'm saying. Gordon, are you here? I thought I saw him in the chat earlier. <laughs> Here we go, Grievous Range 2 going into the Red Jedi. Two hits. And does he have a focus conversion? He has the force. Deciding whether or not he wants to save it for offense. No, he, he has to stay alive here, unfortunately. Let the Nanas come. Oh, well. Oh, triple focus. Uh, Gordon, if you missed it. People people were thinking for, for Gold Squadron Paint Wars, this is going to be like a reality TV style show, um, that I should... When we have loot, like the, the, the non-winners of the show, uh, you know, see them off by saying, sorry, you did not stay on target. And I was simply saying that Gordon would never let me live that down, ever. In perpetuity. Legal action. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we have 12 minutes left in the round. This Jedi this Jedi Knight still has two hole left. Seeing what he can give. He is given a fight. At this point, it's about pride. Can you get Grievous off the board? I mean, I've seen some crazier things. But... With the Jedi Knight stressed right now, and that and Sam just being so good. Between the Dooku and the rear arc. Right, lose the stress. Going aggressive here, taking the lock. Trying to, right. trying to survive one more round. Yeah, I think the idea here, he got kind of he went fast, get past Grievous, scoop up the lock, flip it around. You got the force and a target lock the next turn to try to uh, try to get some damage. We'll see. Uh, Z Zam's got the back gun, flipping those guns to the back. What you got? Uh, hit hit Chris. <laughs> He's got. Uh, that's going to be a crit going through after the force expenditure. Oh, no, he dooku'd the blank. That's just dead. There it is. Game over.